This tutorial will teach you how to add a shape to an image using Adobe Photoshop. To add a shape to an image, you use this tool, shaped like a box. If you click and hold down on that tool, you'll notice that a range of options appear. Select any one of them and click and drag on your image in order to draw that shape. After I draw a rectangle, notice that the bar along the top shows its fill color. I can change the color by selecting one of the options that appear when I click on that box. The square also has a border, which Photoshop calls its stroke. I can easily change the color or width of the stroke with a couple of options up here. I can also make all of these changes using the properties box. There are a number of other shapes that you can add, including ellipses, polygons, and custom shapes. Go ahead and click on custom shapes and go up to the shape drop down menu. There are a number of different options to choose from. Let's go ahead and put an arrow in. Once again, click and drag on the image to put in your shape. The shape will automatically take the same properties you gave to the rectangle, but we can change them once again by going up to the top of the screen. Notice that both the rectangle and the arrow appear in their own layers in the document. As with any object, I can use Free Transform to rotate the object or change its shape. First making sure that the arrow is selected, I go up to Edit and Free Transform. Photoshop refers to the arrow and other objects as a path. Now I can change the size of the arrow and I can rotate it. To accept these changes, I just go up and click the check mark in the top of the screen. If I change my mind, I click cancel. If you double click on the area around the name of the layer, a number of options to add styles to the layer will pop up. These are the same options that we saw with the text. Let's go ahead and put a drop shadow on our arrow. Now you know how to add shapes to an image using Adobe Photoshop.